Hi, my name is Kofi. This is the first video in a three-part video series where we will see how to deploy an Angular application onto the new DigitalOcean app platform. If you have no idea what the DigitalOcean app platform is, you can find a link in the description below to learn more about the platform. This first video will be on how to deploy the Angular application onto the platform. The next video will be on how to deploy a Node.js Express API backend, which eventually in the third episode, we will connect the Angular to the backend and then attach a database to it as well. Let's get started and jump onto the computer. If you don't have a DigitalOcean account, no worries. You can use the link in the description below to sign up to DigitalOcean. In any case, let's go ahead and log in into our DigitalOcean account and see how to deploy onto the DigitalOcean app platform. After login, on this dashboard screen, we can see from the left side, we have the option to go into apps. And that's what we're going to focus on in this video. Click on apps, and then we have the option to launch a new application since we've not created one yet. The first step is to select the repository we want our code to be loaded from. In this case, I will be loading from a GitHub project I have already hosted. And that's what I'll be using to explain this tutorial. If you wanna follow along using the same repository I'm using here, you can find that in the link in the description below. The next step, we have the option to select the region where we want our application to run from. Select the branch you want your application to be deployed from. The next step allows us to choose which type of application it is. This is an Angular application, which is a static application. Therefore, we only need a static option here. The final and last option, we have the option to select starter pack we want to use. In this case, we're going with the starter deploy static sites, which is a $0 per month option. In case you want to upgrade in the future, you have the flexibility to do that as well. So we go with that and then we launch our application. Whilst our application is, you know, booting up and creating itself and um, swimming in the digital ocean, we want to go ahead and look at the code behind this sample Angular application and explain what you need to understand in order to get this deployment working. So I have it open here in my GitHub code spaces and everything that is in this code base, the only thing you need to pay attention to is the line over here, line seven. On it, we are building the Angular application, which if you've deployed an Angular application, you know how it goes. We will get a distribution folder where we will find all the static files to deploy. We are going to copy everything in it into an underscore static folder. This build, it's simply building the production files and pushing them in the next command into that static folder. And with that done, you have your Angular application deployed. So as we can see from here, our application is live and the URL we can click on to view the live application in the browser. Now, at this point in time, not everything is working. In the next video, we'll consider how to connect it to the back end and have it communicating with our Node API endpoint. So that's it in this episode. The next episode will go into details how to deploy the Node.js Express app application onto DigitalOcean app platform. Thanks for joining me in this one and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.